Improvements could soon be on the way for people who live and if you drive on one of Austin's most problematic traffic spots. Yeah, the city has been working on Burnett Road for several years now and tonight they have some answers and they also want to hear from you about it. KXAN's Candy Rodriguez joining us live this morning in North Austin with a closer look at the project. Good morning, Candy. John and Sally, good morning. Those improvements will stretch from right here at Canic Lane all the way down Burnett to nearly Mopag ending at Gracie Farms Lane. And you can see there's quite a bit of activity starting already, but not what they normally see. So to give you an idea if you don't often travel down this road and you're wondering what traffic, just take a look around me. There's a middle school right there. There's several stores in the area, several neighborhoods as well. So you can only imagine how much traffic is actually flowing through the area on a daily basis. That's why those behind the project tell me they're just ready to get people moving. For many, it's no surprise. There's a lot more traffic than there used to be. Problem spots throughout the city of Austin, and Burnett Road is one of them. But as great as Austin is, we do struggle with, with mobility. In April, the city council approved upgrades on Burnett, including for anyone driving, walking, biking, or using transit. More than $50 million from the 2016 mobility bond is earmarked for these enhancements improved pedestrian facilities and improved bicycle facilities, the intersection improvements. So we'll be improving signal timing at some of those key intersections along Burnett Road to help the flow of traffic. For Stefan Andrews, a dedicated left turn signal onto Justin Lane would ease some of his traffic woes. Yeah, so it's difficult when there is a lot of traffic to turn left on Justin uh, when you're going uh, south on Burnett. It's a simple change, but a big difference. One he hopes to see soon. Like an arrow would be good. Tonight, those behind the project will be hosting an open house starting at 5 right down the road at St. John's United Methodist Church to give you an idea at some of the improvements they have at the top of their list and to hear from you to make sure they are on the right path. But of course, we have those details posted on KXAN.com for you. We're live in Austin this morning. Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. Candy, thank you. The city is still working to find ways to help improve other major corridors. Yeah, they include Manchac, South Pleasant Valley, MLK Junior Boulevard, and North Lamar, the 2016 mobility bond is providing nearly half a billion dollars to help make those areas safer, now whether it be if you're walking or biking through there, driving or even taking the public transportation.